For the paper clip rings, I use the 28 millimeter regular size paper clip. You need a round form, so a marker or a ring cone, and your tools. If you don't have paper clips, the best thing to use is stainless steel wire. This is 20 gauge. It's quite stiff, just like the paper clips. You can use 20 gauge tarnish resistant brass, tinned copper, or any half hard wire. And if you only have a softer wire, use a little thicker, like 18 gauge. We always start with opening up the paper clip with our flat pliers. You can do this by hand, but it's easier to do with the pliers. So just go slowly and pinch it along as you go. You just want to get it as straight as you can. I had a couple people suggest using nail polish to color the wire for the paper clip rings. I'm going to make a little heart. So I'm just going to take the paper clip and just bring this one around. And we'll just make a very simple heart. And then I'm going to bend this one up and then bring this one down like this. Just turn it around and make sure it's pretty even. And then I'm going to hold it with the flat pliers and bend that straight across. And then I'm going to get a round form or a ring cone, hold it on there and bring the wire all the way around. And you can clip that if you want, or you can turn it into a little spiral. So we'll take our round pliers, bring this one around, and just slowly twist it around. You could pinch that in a little bit to close the gap and just keep using your round pliers and we're just going to form the spiral. We don't need to go around too much. Depends on how big you want the ring to be. If you've gone too far, just bring it back. And then you can just wiggle this one around a bit. Just that. See if it fits your finger. I just have this Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. You can use any nail polish you want. And then I'm just going to take off the extra and we're going to paint just the heart. So just around here and then we can flip it. If you get too much, just take it off. You're better to do a few small coats than one big coat. Otherwise it's going to get very gloopy. So just if you need to clean it up, just clean it up a little bit and you can always let it dry and do another coat. If you I have another design for the double heart ring. I'll link that up below and you can do it the same way. You can also fill in the whole area with nail polish. You kind of have to put a big glob and just run it across so it fills in that area. And you don't want too much that it's too drippy. Same over here. You just put like a big glob get more nail polish if you need. Rub it across like there so it fills in and then you're going to just make sure it stays flat while it dries. Also be careful not to get any bubbles in it. If you do, just run this over again.